It's the end of the world as we know it. It's the end of the world as we know it. It's the end of the world as we know it. But I feel fine. But instead of saying I feel fine, I'm going to say, but a soft landing is possible. And from my vantage point, the invitation that I would offer today is for us to embrace our role as makers of peace. Because peacemaking has now become the central activity on which the survival of the planet that we inhabit depends. On each of us being willing to accept the invitation and the call to be peacemakers. So imagine, unleash your imagination and think that we would have political leaders in our country that would call a meeting and bring China and Russia and other nations in the world together. And going into that meeting, our country would say, you know what? We've got tremendous problems of hunger and poverty and climate change and ecological problems we're gonna, we need to deal with. We want you to join us. The United States is committing ourselves to reduce military spending by 50% in the next five years. And we're going to free up those resources to address issues of hunger and poverty and climate change. And we invite the rest of the world to join us. And that's just a down payment on what we can do to make the world a more secure place. It's the end of the world as we know it. Nothing is going to prevent us from declining in terms of an empire. But the choices we make will either turn that as a, as a, into an opportunity in which we and others can flourish, or we will continue down the road of militarization and war, clinging, hoping to hang on to power in ways that will undermine our well-being as well as the well-being of others. It's the end of the world as we know it. I don't necessarily feel fine, but I feel determined. I feel incredibly hopeful about the future that we can craft together. I feel filled with a sense of hope and possibility and purposefulness. I see it in my students' lives, I see it in my students' hearts, I see it in my students' passion. And we need to see it in this community, all over the state, in every university. At the heart of what we do needs to be peacemaking. 